it's scary to me. It's really scary. Heather Chilton's fear stems from what she initially hoped would be a carefree experience for her three daughters, who are seven, eight, and ten. We registered all of them into cheerleading, having a great time. They're excited for it. But that excitement quickly went south when Chilton was told her daughters needed to raise money by selling raffle tickets for gift baskets and an AM-15, a rifle similar to semi-automatic AR-15s, which have been used to commit mass shootings. And I'm looking at these tickets, and I'm I'm supposed to have my girls. That's a, this is a this is my children's fundraiser, not my fundraiser. I don't understand it. I don't know. This is not about you know uh, creating violence. It's not a, saying we're endorsing people to go out and use a gun to shoot up a school or anything like that. Robert Wooten is president of New Richmond Junior Lions football, the program in charge of the controversial raffle. A father of five and a local pastor, Wooten says he understands why children and at least one other parent object to the rifle raffle. But he says it's helped the league keep its fees low, which in turn encourages more. Kids to play. I've received two complaints, Todd, in four years of doing this fundraiser. So it kind of shows you that, you know, the majority of people are in favor of this or they've taken our option this year just because of the sensitivity around the gun issue to take the other option of selling a gift basket raffle. Now, Robert Wooten says the uh, gun raffle will be reevaluated next year given the controversy it's causing right now. Uh, whoever does win the, that AM-15 rifle in a couple of weeks has to be 18 and will also have to undergo a full federal background check. Reporting live tonight in New Richmond, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. <laughs>